Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, CCF family. I hope you are all doing well and continuing to stay safe. I want to welcome you to the month of March. <laughs> yeah, we're back where it all started, one year later. And so a new month, as you know at CCF, means a new theme. And the theme for this month is Bake Off, It's Worth the Wait. And so throughout this month, we will be focusing on the theme of patience. Yes, the character trait and the fruit of the spirit that a lot of us have had to learn more about and grow in over the last year. So take a look at this short video clip that will be sort of explaining what our project will be for this month. Take a look. Hey guys, how are y'all? Good. Good, good. Welcome back to CCF Kids Hub. Um, so can y'all read what's on the projector behind me? Bake off is worth the wait. Louder. Bake Off is worth the wait. Bake Off is worth the wait. All right, Mr. Press, can you shake the slide for us real quick? All right, can you guys read that word behind me? Patience. Patience, right? How many of us have heard that word before? I think most of us, or probably even all of us. What does patience mean? Someone raise their hand and tell me. Um, waiting for someone or something. Waiting for someone or something. Uh, patient is waiting and having a calm expression. Ooh, waiting and having a calm expression. Very, very good. Patience means patience, calm, being quiet, and waiting for something. Ooh, so being calm, being quiet while you are waiting for something. Yeah. And patience means patience. Patience means patient. Okay. Yeah, being patient. All right. So. Mr. Prince, I'm going to ask you to change the slide for us one more time. All right. So, kind of what you guys said, patience, if you look at the dictionary, it means the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. All right. So, I really like you guys' definitions. Patience isn't just waiting for something. Patience is the ability to wait for something while not getting upset, right? To calmly wait for something, even though it may be taking for a long time. To be calm, to be quiet while we are waiting, all right? So you guys tell me, what are some things that you have had to be patient for in your lives? Right here. Um, when I asked for something and my mom was like, be patient or like, not right now or something like yeah, that. Yeah, not right now, right? Will you ask your parents for something? Right here. Okay, so uh, last time for Christmas, I asked for something, but it took a lot of time. It takes a long time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, like when you order something and you have to wait for it. Yeah, especially if you order something on Amazon. Even on Amazon Prime, sometimes you got to wait for it. Right here. For Christmas, I got a scooter, but it was way too small for me. So yeah. they still haven't changed it, but they said they're gonna change it. But it's well, they were talk, they were talking about it. They said they were gonna change it, but I'm impatient. Mmm, very very. Well, good. not all the times, not all the times, just now, and also for waiting for for like my charger or like my brother giving me his computer sometimes to play Roblox. Hmm. Wow, so yeah, we have to practice patience a lot in our lives. P pretty much every day in our lives. Yeah. Um, and charging your phone. Charging your phone, right? Charging your and phone. And baking something. And, and what? Baking. Baking. Cake or baking. Right, like or cake, cookies. How many of you, when you guys are baking something, like cake, cookies, or brownies, you know, you start to lick the batter sometimes? Me, right? Because you just can't wait for the finished product to come out. You gotta taste. You gotta get a little bit of a taste before it comes out, right? Yeah. Uh, there's also a chance you can get sick. Okay, yeah, there's a chance you can get sick. But sometimes it's, it's hard it. to it's wait. Worth it. It's worth it, right? It's, it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Because the cake or the brownie or the cookies, when they're finished, they taste better than the batter, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? So, have you ever had to be patient? with people? Yeah. Okay, then think about some times you've had to be patient with people. Kind of share those with us, right here. Yeah. Oh, 
like if someone is like annoying you or be rude, so you just have to be patient with them and not get angry at them. Mm, and try very, to, very good. Try to solve the situation on your own. Yeah. Be patient with them. Mm, so being patient with somebody, you know, who's maybe kind of being kind of mean to you, right? Yeah. Uh, like when I'm in my Zoom class and my teacher puts us in breakout rooms, she said we're gonna get out after five minutes, but she takes 30 minutes to come to mm. get us back to the main room. Yeah, okay, that happens sometimes. Right here. When someone's asking you for like your lunch, and then they like they're also being rude to you, like saying give it to me, or else I'm gonna tell us something like that. You gotta be patient and not let your anger out. Mm. And like tell him something very like tell him to leave me alone or scream at him or something or that's just you're basically like um doing the same as him but like back to him. Yeah, so we there are a lot of times where life in our lives where we have to be patient with people. And in fact the Bible tells us uh a lot about patience. It tells us that it's better to be patient when asked Mr. Prince to go change the slot for us. Uh, but the Bible has a lot to say about being patient. Patience is a fruit of the Spirit, right? For some of us, we've been learning about the fruits of the Spirit, right? So, in Ecclesiastes 7 8, it says, Finishing is better than starting, patience is better than thrive, right? So, sometimes it is better to wait for something. Sometimes it's better to wait on people, right? Sometimes it's, it's better to wait for something to be finished than it is, you know, when you started, right? Sometimes you start learning a new con concept in school and it takes a while, but once you get there, it's better, right? When you first start mixing all the ingredients for your waffles, for, for your pancakes, for, for your cakes, it, you know, it may, may seem hard in, in the beginning and it's not gonna taste good if you start tasting it, but when, it, when you wait for it in the oven or in, in the frying pan, it's gonna taste all good. So the exercise I want you guys all to do is all of you have no cards in front of you, right? And I want you guys to think about something in your life right now that you are having to be patient for, right? Think, think about that thing, all right? So I want you guys to think about something in your life that, you're going to, that you have to be patient for. And on the back end of your no card, on the, on the part with no lines, you're going to write the date and you're going to write that thing, all right? Whatever it is you're waiting for and today's date. Yeah. yeah, on the blank part with no line. And then you're gonna turn it over. You're gonna write a short prayer to God and asking God to help you wait for that thing that you're waiting for. And when you're finished, you're gonna come, put it in this box, all right? Go ahead. All right, so when the things that you've been praying for and the things that you've been waiting for have come true, you'll come and you'll return to your boxes at home and you'll take it out as a reminder that being patient is worth it. Whatever you're waiting for was worth the wait and God allowed you and gave you the patience that you needed. They that wait on the Lord, God will renew their strength. Welcome back CCF family. I hope you really enjoyed that short skit. I wanted to give you a short glimpse of what we will be sending home in your CCF Kids Hub boxes. So, of course, like always, we will be sending home some arts and crafts, some things to color, but also just like in the video we just saw, we will be sending home these note cards. And on the back, Whatever your child is being unpatient for, whatever they're waiting for, they can write that thing and write the day that they're asking for it. And on the front, they can write a prayer to God, right? They can place it into the box. And so the actual box that we send you will serve as your patient prayer 
box. And what, when whatever they are praying for comes to pass or whatever they're being impatient for comes through, they can pull it out and be reminded of God's faithfulness. I think this could be a good practice for us adults as well as the importance of prayer and patience are throughout scripture. When we go back and we realize the things that we pray for when they've come to pass, we can be reminded of God's faithfulness and also the importance of our faithfulness in prayer. So remember, you can sign up for these CCF Kids Boxes at capitalchristian.org and you'll go to the unboxing section. So CCF family, I hope you enjoy and stay blessed.